Run NB Miner with admin privileges to get 100% enhelage unlock. Oh, that is fucking crazy. I'm sorry, but I said the F word. Tested and verified on drivers. Blah, blah, blah. We actually don't care about the rest, so let's quickly move on. NB Miner version 41.0, o'clock settings and results. The rest must come in another video. We don't care. Ethereum overclock settings for the RTX 3050. Clock the core clock to 900 and set the memory clock in high OS to 1200 and 600 in Windows. Then disable LHR. Yes, you need to disable LHR. It is an LHR version 3 card and it is really bad. For the RTX 3060, lock the core clock to 1552, set the memory clock in high OS to 2600 and in Windows to 1300. The card I'm using for test is a Sotac RTX 3060 Twin Edge LHR. Unlike its RTX 3070 Ti brother, this one is actually stable and quite good. For the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1 memory, lock the core clock to 1350, set the memory clock in high OS to 2100, and in Windows to 1050. The difference between a Revision 1 and a Revision 2 is that Revision 2 can clock to 3400 and above, while a Revision 1 can only clock to 2100 if you're really lucky. Uh, you may actually see that it's lower than that. The RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2 locked the core clock to 1500 and set the memory in high OS to 3200 and 1600 in Windows. If you are unsure which one you have, then just try with memory clock at 2300 and if it crashes, then you have a Hynix Revision 1. You could also have a Samsung one, in that case, then you're super lucky. Enjoy! For the RTX 3070, lock your core clock to 1125 and set the memory in high OS to 2600 and in Windows to 1300. It is the absolute most efficient card as always and it is the go-to buy if you want to buy a new card, buy an RTX 3070. For the RTX 3070 Ti, lock your core clock at 900 and set your memory to 2300 in high OS and 1150 in Windows. You can also up your memory even more if it's possible for you, but if I go above 2500, my hash rate tanks completely to 55 megahash per second. For the RTX 3080 10 gigs, lock the core clock to 1250 and set the memory clock to 3400 in high OS and 1700 in Windows. This is actually a pretty good card, it is quite stable, but the thermal pads have started to decay a bit, so I need to change them soon. If you have the RTX 3080 12 gigs, then I feel for you. But lock your core clock at 900 and set your memory clock in high voice to 1200 and 600 in Windows. Remember to disable your LHR, as this card is using version 3. I highly recommend that you mine something else than Ethereum with this card. Check out my crypto mining videos with the daily profits. Results Right, so this is going to be a different kind of video, not the usual I do with in-depth math etc. That will have to wait for the video tomorrow. Here we can see NB Miner starts up and it enables LHR Unlocker. I can already reveal now, it doesn't work on the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs. I have tried a couple of different clocks, but it refuses to work. So you can use it and get around 73 megahertz per second on the 3080 12 gigs, which is actually okay, but pretty far from the 3080 10 gigs. Right, so here we have the first report screen. As uh, you can see, there is no memory temperature at all. The hash rates are not probably there either. I can't believe that this actually happened today. I've just written like 80 comments about I don't think it will ever happen and then it happens immediately the day after. That is pretty amazing. Right, so now we start to see a proper report. GPU 7 is my RTX 3080 10 gigs and it's reporting 91.79 which is okay I guess but it will go higher. You also notice the RTX 3050 does not care at all. The RTX 3080 is fabulous at 78, but it will fall. Now, 3080, 10 gigs, 102. See, that is amazing. 
all the 3070s are above 61, which is on pair with the exact same clocks on my full hash rate. You can see that I have tried with the core clock of 1350 on the RTX 3070 GPU 5, and it doesn't do any difference at all. And the RTX 3060 Ti's, Hynix 1 and 2, two different types of clocks again, and they actually do quite a big difference, which is very nice. And then we have the RTX 3060, which is actually my favorite card now. I can't imagine, it's unbelievable that it's getting a 50 megahertz per second. That is extremely nice for a cheap card like that, to be honest. Um, also, the efficiency is fantastic, but not as good as the 3070s, of course. But the card is super cheap. Now it's time for me to quickly pimp some in your face. Please like, subscribe and share the video. Share the video everywhere with your grandma, your dog, your neighbor, your ex-girlfriend, your ex-boyfriend. Most likely not your new girlfriend, boyfriend, husband or wife as they will just leave you. Tomorrow I'll release a proper video where I hopefully can tweak my overclocks a little bit. Maybe even get better results for the 3080. 12 gigs, but overall I hope for better results. I'll also add the min max uh, mega hash per second and watch everything as I usually do. Anyway, to get this lovely piece of software, I'll drop the commands you just have to fire off in HiveOS to get them, and I will also include a batch file instruction in the description. So go check the description for all you need. Wow, check out that 3070 Ti. The card that is the absolute worst I have is doing amazingly. It's, yeah. Oh, and by the way, the previous video I had an EVGA BIOS on it. Now I've rolled back, back to a SOTAC BIOS as it does zero difference. This is actually super interesting. Now that NB is out, we haven't seen anything from the, in the NB Miner team for ages. And I can't wait to see who is next, who will come up with something. Will it be T minor or LOL minor? I actually like all the minor, so they're pretty cool. Maybe even G minor will come with something. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And also share your results in the comments. There are a lot of uh, different cards out there, different models, and let's help each other by sharing our results with each other, including the core locked and, and what's, etc. Everything you said, please share it and the results in the comments. I am actually a bit surprised that this is released today. Here in Denmark, it is Mother's Day. That is fantastic. I have converted into Father's Day. This is a gift from the kids to me. That is fantastic. My wife, she can go look at flowers or whatever it is they do on Mother's Day. This is, is Dad's Day. This daddy will be playing with overclocks the entire day. Anyway, I will uh, leave you to it. Good luck. Let me know how it goes in the description. And uh, please, if you are good at this, Help others out in the comments. See you in the next one. And subscribe. And like the video and share it with everyone.